we have to make our public officials accountable for what they do. When, when young Emmett was here, we could not have the right kind of health care in this community because it was segregated. So now we are about to lose health care in this community, and I'm asking our leadership in both the county and city to help us save our hospital here in LaFleur County. You know, public election is hard. Making decisions for the community is hard. So in our spirit of this dedication today, I want us to look right and left to each other and say we will do better in the spirit of young Emmett. In the spirit of this memorial, we won't let his death be in vain. And because we won't let his death be in vain, our children won't die younger. Our seniors won't die quicker. Because we will work together to make a difference in our community. Everybody today is in the spirit of unity, and that's a good thing. But what happens tomorrow? If we don't keep the spirit going after today, shame on us. So I challenge all of us in the spirit of this dedication is we will move forward, we will make a difference in the spirit and memory of MNT. Good evening. Good evening. Looking at this gathering, remind me just like a band of angels coming to Greenwood. We're all in one accord. And that is significant for this state. Let me say this up front, the Congressman just alluded to. We need each other. We all do look alike, don't we? Yeah. I don't see anybody here with three eyes like the Cyclops you claim. I'm a mythology if you didn't know it. We all came from Adams. No, you're right. Different directions. That's right. So therefore, we are here in one accord. No, right. To be absolutely sure that from New Orleans, Louisiana to Memphis, Tennessee, that you come through the Mississippi Delta and stop along the way and see the history of the blues and the history of racism at its worst. Now, the question is, how did this happen and why wasn't anything done about it? The DA and all who elected it because of Emmett Till. Wasn't anybody, when I first went to federal court, there were only 40 people in Mississippi and Greenwood registered to vote. Because they had us trying to interpret how many bubbles in a bar. So the Indian who asked that question didn't know. How in there? But now, here we all, here in one accord. And I want to let you know, too, the person who, the uh, head of appropriation is a Republican. That's strange, isn't it? But last year I asked him, the bill fell. Came back this year, he said, Senator Jordan, I'm going to pass your bill. They passed it. And here we are here today. God rules the world. There's a greater power that watches the process. Like, let's get a little biblical, Reverend. When 
and uh, Moses died. And the next person took over said, Joshua, God parted the Red Sea again. He told us to get these stones from the bottom of this sea and place them so that those who come along later will know the meaning of it. I want each tribe to have a stone. And so when generations come to ask what the meaning of these stones and tell them what God did for us. That stature, the next 50 years when young people come along and say, what's the meaning of this? Then you can tell them that there was a person who came to Mississippi, 14 years old, that was lynched here. And that's what this is all about. So this is a climax for me. I tended to try. I remember when they found the body, we were at the Walthall Theater across from the funeral home. And I can even tell you what movie we're playing. Duel in the Sun, Gregory Peck, Joseph Cotton, Jennifer Terry. We had just finished high school, we saw it twice, and when we came out, there were a big crowd at the funeral home saying that they found the boy's body in the Tallahatchie River. And people at that time didn't have television, they had radio. As we walk home, every street, every radio was blabbing. They found the black boy in the Tallahatchie River. Well, next week we started at Valley. And the professor said, I want y'all to read everything you can in the newspaper about the Emmett Till case. Yes, the name was 25 cents a gallon. Oh, wow. I had 50 cents, I paid for my brother and the other guy let the other guy go free and four of us headed for something. We got to Sumner, never been in court before, and we happened to see the funeral home man on the stand. He was scared to death. And as we stood on the outside, Mrs. Teal came up with a well-dressed person, well-dressed. He was Congressman Charles Diggs of Detroit. And I didn't know we had but one Congress ever, I played the power of New York. I didn't know about Charles Diggs. But the reporter asked him, said, ask her, I said, you think anybody get a good trial? She said, I'm here to observe. He reported, he repeated. And she said, by the way, I have the uh, senator all the way from Detroit. And they said, well, I didn't know we had any. They used the N word. And Congressman Diggs, so intelligent, just kind of bowed his head, looked down, and they went in, and we went in behind them. We went in behind him, and we saw Mr. Miller, funeral home director here at Greenwood, on the stand. And when they re just like somebody had pulled a pail of water down as he's sweating on all sides. He was scared to death, but he was there. Then recess came. Then it, Jennifer Mile and Roy Bryant Parents brought them coca Colas. didn't have cans then, and they were fanning them. And everybody was laughing. And then they were not serious. We came back, we could curse too, we did some cursing to ourselves. We came back and went to class, we talked about it. That Friday, the next two or three days, they were acquitted. Next week, they sold a story for $4,000 to Look Magazine. But, look at us today. God flipped the coin. We are in charge of this county and this city. But we're not gonna misuse anybody. We're gonna show people how we can work together. But, at the same time, as the congressmen have indicated. If you're in position, serve. I'm always the heels, I've served all my life serving others. 
I've been in more trouble than anybody in this area. I sued everybody I had to and had no regrets. And I'll do it again if I have to before I die. Because God didn't make no mistake because he made me blind. You got a mouth, you got ears and two eyes out of normal conditions. And you walk upright and you have swing and tenders. You have legs and arms. What makes you think you're superior to me? Right. I'm a baby too. And I look good, don't I? And that's what we want to realize. That we all came from one blood. Went different directions. All from Adam. Don't let everybody diminish you. If you got a problem with me, see God. I ain't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Well, I just want to let you know how happy I am to see you here, all of you, my friends. We need each other. We can make Mississippi an oasis if we work together. That's right. None of this color is going to come off of anybody. So don't worry about it coming off. It's devastating. I've had people who curse me off of my friends now. And the Republicans, when, in conclusion, when the flag was about to pass, we tried to pass it in 2001. I was over in Mohair Community College and I got up to speak. Somebody went to Holly, watermelon! <laughs> Who in the South doesn't love watermelon? I don't know what that meant. But a decade later, we passed that flag. All right, all right. Now, this is my mecca here. The Emmett Till statue, and it will always be known that the state legislature listened to me and included $150,000 plus and said, if you need any more, we can get it. I want everybody to know that this is a state, this is state money. If some idiot tear it down, we're going to put it right back up. All right now. All right. I'm going to put a camera on my building across the street. <laughs> and somebody going to jail, we tired of this foolishness. We are just trying to live together. Right. That right. represents all of us. That's right. Yeah. The the people, 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 people of color was mistreated. And now here we are here together. Because God is the just God. In conclusion, this board, called anyway by Helen Stein Wright. People are logical, unreasonable, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish, frontier motive. Do good anyway. If you are successful, you will win false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Honest and frank and make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyway. The biggest men, biggest men and women with the biggest ideas can be shot down by the smallest men with the smallest ideas. Think big anyway. People favor underdogs, but follow the, only the top dogs. In conclusion, what you see, what you send, you spend years building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. People really need help, but they attack you if you do. Help them anyway. Help them anyway. Give the world the best you got and they will kick you in the teeth. Give them the best you got anyway. That's been my life and my legacy. Serving up because my blessings are wrapped up in there. May God bless you and this is a glorious day. Turn it up, 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 turn it up